Alright, there are two things I want to talk about in regards to bounties and events in Dying Light. Uh, the first one is how to reset your personal bounty so you can get your personal reward over and over again uh, as many times as you'd like. Now obviously, you can uh, if you do your personal bounty on one save, you can also do another, another save and you'll have two separate personal rewards. So for example, the pro if you get a weapon, you'll get a weapon on each save after completing the personal bounty uh, each time on each save. However, another method of doing this on the same save is by going into New Game Plus. Now I have my character here, it's on an extraction, and I'll go in game now to demonstrate that uh, I have completed the personal bounty Rice for the current event going on right now. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the All right, now you see that the community event on the on the right hand side of the screen is active, and if I scroll down here, it says completed community events, which is the personal bounty here of collecting twenty presents, and the outfit reward is seasons eatings. That's currently what I'm wearing right now, as I've already completed the personal bounty. However, if this was a weapon, you can earn this multiple times. Now, of course, this is the same save. You can't earn the outfit multiple times because uh, you can't just wear you know multiple outfits at once, but um, if it was a weapon, uh, you'd be able to get multiple weapons out of this. I'll show you how to do this right now by resetting your personal bounty. So, um, it doesn't matter at what point you are in the game, as long as you've completed the game on your save, you'll be able to have the New Game Plus option. So let's go back to the main menu right now, and I'll demonstrate doing that right now. Alright, so if you go to play, select your save here, and select New Game Plus. And it'll reset your uh, progress from the into uh, right to the beginning. And I'll set you at first assignment. This is just typical New Game Plus stuff. If you're not, if you're aware with New Game Plus, and you know exactly how to do this. Enough. All right. So now we're at first assignment again. But now you realize here that the personal bounty here, with the same reward, has reset. And now we can continue to do twenty uh, presents right now. Now the global presence, of course, is still the same because that doesn't change. That's the global uh, contribution, but the personal bounty uh, resets, so we're able to do this over and over again if we'd like. So now I can just go and get the exact same um, uh, reward or bounty reward uh, over again if I wanted to, and this is really, really useful if um, if you want a unique weapon that is only given once during a community event and it doesn't give you a blueprint. It's really useful. That's how I've gotten multiple frost handers using this method. Now one more thing I want to talk about is how to disable community event effects such as uh, no fall damage, infinite grapple, super drop kicks, etc. Whatever kind of uh, un abnormal events that the game gives you. In this case the super crane event is on. So we have an infinite grapple which you can do and spam all day long. And of course we also have zero fall damage from any height. So if you go up here, you're going to take no fall damage, no roll needed and no animation. So, a lot of people find this annoying if they want to just play the game normally as they are. So I'm going to show you how to disable these effects, because usually um, the game gives you an actual option to opt out of these, uh, the, these events. However, as you'll see here, going to the main menu, going to online, and then turning off community event participation, you would think that this would disable the effects. Well, let's go back in game and test that out right now. This is the same save we were just on before. Okay, so now you can see uh, we're back out here at the same spot. Uh, the event is disabled. It does not appear in our quest log at all. Um, however, the effects are still there. So the grappling hook is extended and infinite. Still does that again, over and over again. And if we go take fall damage again, we'll just try to do that right now. And we still take no fall damage, despite the fact that we have disabled community events. Let's go over here and let's double check that we've done that. So if we go online, community event participation, it says off right there. I don't know if you guys can see that very well in the screen here, but it says off right there. So how do we disable this? Well, I'll show you a method in just a short uh, moment. All right, so I'm at my desktop right now, and I want to mention before we get uh, go forward with this, this is a method that only works on Steam. Unfortunately, I do not know of any method that works on console, nor if this works on GOG either, if you're on GOG on, on PC. However, this does work on Steam if you're on PC. So obviously you go up there, and you click go offline. Right now I'm already offline, so I need to do that right now. You just click go offline, and then your Steam will restart in offline mode. Obviously, you won't be able to play online with this. However, uh, since it's uh, in offline mode right now, 
However, if you launch the game and go into uh, the game while the event is currently on, you will notice that the effects are disabled. We'll see that in just a short moment. All right, we are once again out here on the same save. We have obviously the event is still on in the world, but however, we've disabled uh, Steam by going in offline mode. And now we'll, let's just test out the uh, stuff now. Now you can see the grappling hook is no longer extended range and is actually recharging normally like it usually does. Yeah, see it's on cooldown now. And let's see, try falling from this height again. Notice how we've broken our legs. We've successfully disabled the actual effects from the, the event. Now I've tested this at multiple events when I wanted to play offline myself. And as a speedrunner, I find this really annoying uh, since events are disabled uh, and banned from speedrun.com. So this is a nice way to turn off the events if you do not want to participate in them. Not just the actual rewards and stuff, but the actual uh, effects that it has on the game itself. And that is about it I have uh, for this video, those two tips. I hope they uh, have been proven helpful. If you guys got any more questions about events, community events, whether it be uh, items or anything you guys want, I'll make sure to answer them in the uh, comments below. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in my streams if you ever catch me there.